Having done all that, in relation to, to payback time, and Hugh Piggott, who's the author of a number of books on how to build your own wind turbines, and he's been an evangelist and a, a good one for wind energy for many years, wonders why we have to look at payback time, because there are hidden costs in the production of electricity that should be factored into the equation. You know? And personally, when we were building up our wind turbine, we worked out that our electricity was costing us 50 cents per unit, and I would be happy to pay that for electricity that I know comes with no environmental cost or minimum environmental impact. Okay, so, so one of the things that's often kicked out about wind turbines is that it takes more energy to make them than they produce in their lifetime, or that it takes more carbon dioxide to make them up than they save in their lifetime. And the study's done on that, and they've shown that the, the life cycle of, a, of, of large wind turbines is such that the carbon dioxide and the energy is actually paid back, in some cases on a good site, in as little as three or four months. Um, for a domestic wind turbine, it's somewhat higher, and the figures that we've done in relation to our own turbine chuck that up to about one year payback. So in other words, all the carbon dioxide that it took to make the concrete, the steel, the aluminium, the copper, all the components of the turbine to ship it here and to put it together, the energy payback time and all that is about one year. Okay. In terms of the financial payback time, um, if you were being purely hard-nosed <coughs> about it, I took figures, and uh, <coughs> these are based on different rates of output. If you were achieving 35%, this would be an excellent site on the top of a hill in very good wind conditions. You might get 30%, 35% of its stated output. You might get, um, this would be at 20%, at and this would be at about 10%, okay? That would be a very poor site at 10%, you know, um, and the payback time for the system that we have here, the Proven 2.5 kilo, kilowatts, works out between 16 and 57 years, depending on the, the site that you have. And that's based around um, a 16 cent feed uh, um, displacement. Okay, So it's kind of averaging everything out around 16 cents. You can see as you get into bigger turbines, that comes down, you know? Um, but that's assuming that you're getting 16 cents on all the electricity that you're exporting. If you move into a 15 kilowatt turbine, the chances are that you're going to be exporting most of that at 9 cents. So you're not going to get those figures in practice. Um, for our own machine, the Turbo Twisty 2.5 kilowatt, the price installed is at 12,000 euros. And uh, you're coming up with <coughs> payback times on a, on a very good site of 10 years, coming down to sort of 34 years. Now, there are actually caveats to that. And um, actually, the 10 years, probably, you probably could do a bit better than that. There are sort of Chinese machines out there, and we've had a few of them here, and they all came down within about six months. Some of them came down voluntarily because I took them down, and some of them just came down all by themselves. But I have to say I wouldn't touch them with a barge pole again, and I regard them as hazardous. Uh, now, I'm not saying that it's not possible that machines will be coming in from China that will be well made, but the ones I've seen so far, we've been very unhappy with. There is an argument that if you look at the mega, megawatt wind turbines that go onto wind farms, that they cost about 2 million euros per megawatt. And they invariably have gone in on very good sites where their payback time is going to end up <coughs> about four years. That's if they got uh, 16 cents per kilowatt hour, which they don't. They only get 7 cents. So in practice, it's not as, as, uh, <coughs> as lucrative an investment as it might look there. But in reality, in terms of the, 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 the money, the return on investment, it is better to have wind farms than domestic wind turbines. But as against that, they need the support of the grid, they need reinforcement of the grid. And a lot of people like the idea of having electricity produced and managed locally rather than anonymous wind farms on mountaintops. But <coughs> I think coming back to this idea, though, the, you can <coughs> look at the decisions that make people make around, say, buying a house because they know that the rent is going to go up whereas the mortgage is going to be fixed. We just did some figures, and this was based on the turbo twisty turbine on a fairly conservative site at 6 metres per second wind speed, and we reckoned that that would be producing about 5,800 kilowatt hours per year. We assumed that the occupancy of the house is going to be 72 hours, which would be 43% of the electricity will be used within the house. And then we applied that figure across the 14 cent, the 9 cent, and the 10 cent feed-in time. 
And what we get is a payback, you know, sure enough, the, the payback time for that technically is around about 12 years. But it starts out being 12 years, which is an 8% return on your investment. But as energy prices rise, and I've assumed in this energy inflation of 5%, most people predict that energy is going to be inflated at a lot more than the consumer price index. That we're looking at energy inflation of between 6 and 10%. If you move to 10%, oops, if you move to 10% inflation on the, the, the price of energy, then during the life of this turbine, it starts reaching very fast payback time. So the payback time, the more the energy prices rise, the more the payback time comes down, or the return on your investment. So you know your, <coughs> your investment is fixed. You put in your tower, your concrete, your cable, your generator, your inverter. The blades will have to be changed every 10 years. The um, you know various different components might need to be replaced, but the bulk of the cost is a fairly fixed cost. And the, the amount that that's going to pay you back during its lifetime is varying from today's energy prices. So there is an argument that says that actually installing a wind turbine, although the payback time might be unacceptable to a lot of people from a purely commercial point of view at 12 years or 14 years, or even 16 years, the reality is that during the life of that generator, the annual income that it's saving you is going to increase quite dramatically on a compounded interest uh, on a compounded inflation rate. And it depends on your worldview whether you actually believe in peak oil, whether you believe that we're going to be forced to reduce our carbon emissions, and whether you believe that we're going to have to move in that direction. But Clearly, I, I think that we are, and I think that there's a, that, you know, within Ireland and the UK, that there's tremendous scope for doing this on suitable sites. Provided it's done in a suitable site, I think that you'll find that this is something that will pay you off in the long term. But I think the people who tell you right now that there's a five-year payback time in a wind turbine, that's the kind of the snake oil of this industry. And they've created this expectation. Look, if you could get a five-year payback time on anything, that's like a bank giving you 20% on your money. If a bank was giving you 20% interest, they'd be mobbed. They'd be a wash of money. The reality is that a, 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 even a 12-year payback time is equivalent to getting 8% of your money. That's a phenomenal amount of money to get on. You know, you can borrow money for 5 6%. So there's a, there is a, you know, if the payback time is better than 16 years, I would argue that this is worth doing, or, or, or even 20 years, you know, because the, the payback time will come down as time goes on, the income from the, the turbine will rise, and it's still delivering you a better return than you're getting in the bank. But that's a, that's a personal view. I mean, what it comes down to is that doing this means that you're able to do the right thing, and it's not costing you anything to do it. And over time, it might even save you money. Okay. So, we'll take a break of that.